Hey everybody, here's a quick video on combining like terms when you have uh, variables on both sides of the equal sign. So in this example right here, we have 2x plus 5 equals 4x minus 3. And so I want to rearrange these. Uh, I would prefer to have all the x's together and all the numbers on the other side. And so I'm going to have to rearrange this stuff. And in order to do that, I'm going to pick which side I want to have my x's on. So the larger number is on the right side for the x's. I have a 4x there. So I'm going to try to keep that 4x on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move all the terms of the variable I'm solving for onto the same side. And that would mean I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And that will give me 5 equals 2x minus 3. Then I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I need that x by itself. But there's all this stuff in the way. Like that minus 3 is in my way. So I'm going to get rid of it. What do you mean get rid of it? I can't just get rid of things. Well, I mean put it on the other side. And so right now it's minus 3. So in order to put it on the other side, we have to do the opposite. So the opposite of minus is plus. And therefore, we are going to add 3 to both sides. So we're going to do plus 3 on both sides. And that's going to give us 8 equals 2x. Now, the last thing that's left here is, that, again, I want that x by itself with nothing else. Once I have that, I have solved for x. So in order to do that, I need to get rid of that 2. Again, get rid of means I want to move it to the other side so that x can be by itself. And did you know that 2x is actually 2 times x? Did you know that it's 2 times x? So in order to get rid of it, I can do the opposite. The rule is always you do the opposite. What's the opposite of multiplication? Division. That's right. So we can divide both sides by 2. And so we are going to divide this by 2 and this by 2. And we are going to get 4 equals x. And that has been isolated. You have solved for x. Let's do another one that's uh, a little bit different. And so uh, here we are combining like terms that uh, are all together. So this is not on different sides of the equal sign, but I just want to go over something real quick about combining like terms is that you can only combine things that have the same exact variable. And that's something I really want you to get. They have to have exactly the same. X squared and X are not the same thing. X squared is not the same thing as Y squared. And XY is not the same thing as X, you know? It has to be exactly right. So in this case, what I would do is I would just have uh, a methodical way of grouping these together. So let's do all the squares. So here's a two X squared. Here is another X squared. This one's minus. So I'm gonna take those together and I get X squared. Then I'm gonna do another one. Now let's say I do underline for this one, three X minus seven X minus 3x. So that one will just leave me with uh, minus 7x. And then finally, I have some constants. So this right here is plus 5, and this is plus 2, and those things just become plus 7. So your final answer on simplifying this one would be this right here. Okay, thank you very much.